Hey guys, what's up? I'm here with a new Fallout. Not really, it's more of a tutorial than it is a glitch, surprisingly, because I've been doing nothing but glitches here recently. I'm going to be showing you how to get a full suit of XO1 power armor, which, if you did not know, is one of the best power armor you can get in the game. Um, so before I get into it, let me just let you know, this character is level 80, so I know you have to be a higher level to get this. And yeah, when you come out, there will be some super mutants around here. I found like two super mutant suiciders, and there's some up there, but I can't, I can't get to them, so they might appear later on. But um, yeah, so I'm over here at 35 Court. There's one right there too. 35 Court. Um, that is directly across from Custom House Tower. This is right behind it. Now, before I get in here, I did want to say that. I've got this armor already, and I've already done some custom work to it, so it's not going to look exactly how it looks on mine, um, but it's going to be pretty much the same. All I did was paint it, and I added a, um, a headlamp, so I didn't do too much. So when you first walk in here, you're going to go to the left and come over here to the elevator. Did I call the elevator? Yeah. So you're going to go into the elevator, and you're going to go all the way up to the roof. <sighs> Hello, Kate. By the way, Kate's my new. She's hey. the new Bay. Need? Hi. Need something, lover. See, she's the new Bay. What are your thoughts on our relationship? I'm closer to you than anyone else in my life. What more could anyone? Yep, ask? she's the new Bay. That was all. If you want, I can show you a uh, quest as to how to get her as your lover, or any character, depending on your gender. That is. And we're almost to the top, hopefully, and here we are. Quit smiling at me, you freak. Okay, so you walk out here. You want to go, yeah, to the right. To the right again, and up here. Now, when you get up here, this is where your XO1 power armor will be. But this door will be closed, and you can't enter it. Also, it won't be white. So what you're going to have to do is there's going to be an Assault Tron in this door. And then in this door over here, there's going to be a sentry bot. So just be prepared because you are going to have to fight a sentry bot and a assault tron to get this. And then after you get that, after you've defeated both of them, there's a few power cores. But by the time you're high level, you're going to have you're going to press both of these buttons. I'm just going to press them because I can, not because I have to. You're going to press both of those buttons. What's well, freaking you out, Kate? Anyway, then these doors will open, and then in here you will have a suit of XO1 power armor. Let me just kind of show you some of the stats of this. Um, when I got it, it was Mark III. I didn't do any upgrades to that. This is really good. I mean, if you look at it, the torso gives you 300 rad resistance, and everything else gives you 150. Then your helmet gives you 260 protection, and then everything else except for the torso gives you 210, which torso gives you 360. So yeah, this is a really good suit of power armor, and they're not easy to get. I mean, I found very rare, actually, I was in Good Neighbor doing a quest for Bobby, and I found a torso and a right leg, and I was afraid I was going to have to go on a quest to find a whole bunch of different ones, but I stumbled upon this, and lo and behold, there is a full set here. Now, I have heard that if you're a lower level, you will find something like a T60, or if you're really low level, you'll get a T45. So if you're at that level, I suggest just liking this video to come back later on. Uh, also, while you're at it, just hit that subscribe button. I mean, why not? <laughs> while you're already at it. And then you will get this suit of power armor. Now, I've done some custom upgrades to it. First off, I've painted it Institute White because I think a white suit of power armor looks really nice. And then also, I've added this headlamp to it. Now, I recommend adding the headlamp because on every other power armor, you have the light coming off the side of your head. But in X01, and I'm pretty sure only in X01, your light, your eyes glow. And I thought the glow, the green looked really good. Plus, I get this little pit boy, which is kind of annoying, but cool at the same time. So, I'm going to jump off this because I can. And yeah, so now you can walk around in a suit of X01 power armor, which is really freaking cool. Alrighty guys, well that is how you get exo a full suit of X what is that? Do you see this thing jump? Is that a Brahmin in a tree? 
There's a Brahmin lying down in a tree. That's enough fallout for today. <gasps> Alrighty, guys. Well, anyway, like I said, that's how you get a full suit of XO1 power armor within Fallout 4. Um, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or if you found it helpful. And subscribe for more Fallout 4 videos to come. I have some Fallout 4 glitches on my channel and some more awesome tutorials to come. Perhaps how to get the sword I'm holding, which is very powerful, by the way. Alrighty, guys. I'll see y'all next time if I can get a view shot of my face to exit out on. Alrighty, guys. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.